Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a western Kentucky field where four big Case IH tractors are working on planting the 2020 corn crop. In this video, we'll see two large Steiger tractors working on seedbed preparation and two Magnum tractors working on planting the corn. The two tractors working on seedbed preparation are a 580 horsepower Case IH 580 quad track pulling a Great Plains 4000 Turbo Max, which is 40 feet wide, and pulling an Unverfurth rolling basket to smooth and firm up the seedbed. Also, you'll see a 420 horsepower Case IH 420 Steiger pulling a 3000 Turbo Max, which is 30 feet wide, also working with an Unverfurth rolling basket. The two Fargo, North Dakota built tractors are starting out early in the morning working up the ground. It had rained the day before and these Great Plains turbo tills are working as vertical tillage machines, just working the top two inches of soil, breaking open the crust, chopping up the residue and smoothing out the field. By working early in the day, they're gonna help the air get into the soil and dry it out and make a very good seed bed for the corn planters to start putting some seed in the ground that afternoon. Every hour and minute counts in the spring when a farm is planting corn. For every delay that the farm has due to weather means that yield is lost during the harvest in the fall. This farm is heading out in the field just to warm up that soil with the tillage pass to make sure that they're able to get more acres planted before the next rainstorm comes into the area. Let's head out to the field now to see all of this big farm equipment in action. In the morning, you'll see the farm's Case IH Steiger tractors and Great Plains Turbo Max vertical tillage tools working on seedbed preparation. And then in the second half of the video, you'll see the farm's Case IH Magnum tractors and early riser corn plants planters putting seed in the ground during the afternoon. The two big tillage tractors in this video are manufactured at Case IH's tractor factory in Fargo, North Dakota, which has been building articulated Steiger four-wheel drives since 1969. The two machines are powered by FPT 12.9 liter 787 cubic inch engines. The 580 quad track is rated at 580 engine horsepower and the 420 row crop Steiger is rated at 420 engine horsepower. Both tractors feature a full power shift transmission with 16 forward and four reverse speeds with a top speed and road transport of 25 miles per hour and they are currently running at eight miles per hour across the field. The 580 quad track with its four tracks makes it an ideal tillage machine. It has improved traction in the field while also reducing soil compaction. This big tractor weighs in from the factory at 51,623 pounds and has a field weight of 64,000 pounds.
The 420 Steiger tractor is set up with row crop duals in addition to the tillage work that you see in this video. After the corn is planted, this tractor is used to apply or side dress anhydrous ammonia between the rows of growing corn to help improve the crop's yield. This big tractor weighs in from the factory at 44,290 pounds and is field weighted up to 50,520 pounds. As the Case IH 420 Steiger and the Great Plains Turbo Tail come across the field, we can take a look at the conditions that they're working in. If you look in the field, it was fall ripped about 18 inches deep where they're lifting up the ground with an inline Case IH 2500 ripper. It simply fractures compaction underneath the ground. We can see on the surface we still have wheat stubble that was left over from the wheat harvest last June as well as soybean stubble from that second crop of beans that was harvested and then we've got our inline rip but the field doesn't look like a typical tillage field where it's all worked up. This ground is wet, it rained yesterday and this turbo till is just airing out the soil so the planters can run later this afternoon. We'll take a look at the result now. Now we can see the turbo tills just working those top two inches, just working up this residue a little bit and just airing out the soil. So in a few hours, this will be dry and ready to plant. Nice good seed bed ready to go. This farm relies on a pair of 380 CVT Magnum tractors manufactured at Case IH's tractor factory in Racine, Wisconsin, 
Both tractors are pulling 40 foot wide early riser planters that are planting 16 rows of 30 inch space corn. The 380 Magnum is powered by an FPT 8.7 liter 531 cubic inch engine rated at 380 engine horsepower and 315 PTO horsepower. The CVT in the tractor's model number stands for Continuous Variable Transmission, which is a standard feature on the 380 engine horsepower Magnum. This allows the tractor to run at infinite speeds up to 30 miles per hour in transport, and the tractors are currently running at 7 miles per hour planting corn. The 380 CVT Magnum weighs in at 32,200 pounds. These large fixed frame row crop tractors are a perfect match for these 40 foot wide Case IH early riser planters, which are equipped with speed tubes and have the capability of running up to 10 miles per hour across the field. The hydraulics and the weight of these planters are a good match for a big tractor like these Magnums. Both of these Magnum tractors are fitted with chrome Chem Farm saddle tanks. These silver tanks fitted on the front of the tractors each carry 250 gallons of starter fertilizer allowing each tractor a capacity of 500 gallons. It's the afternoon now and the turbo tills have worked all the ground and you can see by breaking open the crust there's actually dust flying now in the field. In the morning it was tacky but as a result of working this ground that was rained on just yesterday they're able to be putting corn in the ground in a very nice seed bed. Let's take a look at the results here. So this morning again it was a little bit tacky now we've just got nice dry dirt ready to go. They just worked that top inch with the vertical tillage tool, smoothed out the surface, dried out the ground, warmed it up, and now corn seeds are going in. The first 380 CVT Magnum tractor in this field is operating a Case IH 2140 early riser split row planter. This machine is capable of planting 16 rows of 30 inch spaced corn and 31 rows of 15 inch spaced soybeans. This machine is a pivot style transport model and is equipped with two 40 bushel hoppers that carry a total capacity of 80 bushels of seed corn. The planter is also fitted with two 100 gallon starter fertilizer tanks combined with the Magnum tractors two 250 gallon chem farm tanks. This seeding team has the capacity of 700 gallons of starter fertilizer. The second 380 CVT Magnum tractor running in this field is operating a front fold Case IH 2150 early riser planter putting 16 rows of 30 inch corn in the ground. This machine is equipped with two 50 bushel hoppers for a total capacity of 100 bushels of seed corn. This machine is fitted with a 400 gallon starter fertilizer tank from the factory and when teamed with the Magnum tractors two 250 gallon chem farm tanks has a total capacity of 900 gallons of starter fertilizer.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time on this Western Kentucky farm, seeing how these four big tractors and implements all work together to put the corn crop in the ground. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, consider giving it a thumbs up as it helps alert other tractor fans on YouTube that the video is here to watch. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 